Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Today I wanted to go over tips and tricks on how to practice witchcraft when you're still in the broom closet. To start, let's go over what it means to be in the broom closet. This term simply refers to someone who practices witchcraft but hasn't told anyone about it yet. There are many reasons why one can't be open about it. For example, like religious reasons, family reasons, or just not feeling comfortable enough to share their practice with others. Whatever the reason is, these tips can give you insight on how you can practice witchcraft while still in the broom closet. So let's get started. Tip number one, creating an altar. Create your altar or sacred space in a drawer so that when friends or family come over, it will be hidden away. Tip number two, coffee or tea magic. Quietly stir specific intentions into your tea or your coffee in the morning to start your day off right. Tip number three, charge your jewelry. You can charge your jewelry that you'll be wearing with certain intentions. Just hold it in your hand and quietly infuse it with your energy. Tip number four, kitchen witchery. Create a little kitchen witchery by quietly infusing intentions into your food when stirring or sprinkling in spices. Tip number five, light candles. You can light a candle with the desired intention that you're looking for. Place it in your home and when others come over to visit, they won't know that your candle is magically charged with specific energy. Tip number six, create a secret diary. You can create a diary type book of shadows in a plain notebook or create a digital one on your phone or computer that is safe from prying eyes. Tip number seven, cleaning your home. When you're cleaning your home and sweeping, you can say in your head quietly a small incantation for ridding your home of negative energy. Sweep that floor with intent and purpose. Tip number eight, create a stovetop potpourri. This is a great way to add a little bit of magic and beautiful aroma to your home. You can infuse the ingredients that you're using for specific intentions and nobody will know that it's a magic potion. Number nine, cleansing alternatives. Instead of using a smoke bundle, which can look a little witchy, you can use an essential oil diffuser to cleanse your home. You can also use sound, clapping your hands, visualization, lighting a white candle, and using a room spritzer. Tip number 10, witchy research. If you're anything like me, you love having witchy books around, but if you're in the broom closet, that may be hard to do. Instead, you can download books on a Kindle or on your phone to take with you anywhere you want. You can also do your witchy research online or at a library, or you can download apps onto your phone. Whatever the reason is that you're practicing in the broom closet, I hope that these tips gave you a little bit of insight and showed you that yes, you can still practice witchcraft, and yes, you can still add magic to your everyday life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a magical day.